Brought to you by Skillshare. Click the link in the description for a two-month free trial. In between the life of reaching ultra rock star status after the Yeezys rollout and the genesis of becoming a family man, the life of Pablo illustrates Kanye's growing realization that he has more to protect than just himself. By 2016, people were thirsting for some more music after a dry spell of content and unfulfilled promises of albums that never saw the light. Fans watched Kanye tweet various album names before he finally tweeted TLLP. People took a stab at what it possibly could stand for and were eventually told that it stood for the life of Pablo, referencing three prominent people named Pablo. The multifaceted Kanye is the Pablo Escobar of product, the Pablo Picasso of art, and similar to the Apostle Paul. The new title came with the cover art designed by longtime Rick Owens collaborator Peter De Potter. With the title and cover art officially announced, Kanye found himself at a crossroads in life, choosing the family life filled with pure intentions and a life near God. Or will his ill intentions and selfishness ultimately hold him back? The album would be released during his third fashion show in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like 16,000 people buying tickets to a fashion show. They said I couldn't do fashion. And now I'm selling out MSG for a fashion show. Live stream and stream it to theaters across the globe. When those kids be lined up for those Yeezys, that truth came to light. When triple, when, when title triple subscriptions, when we dropped that Pablo, that truth came to light. Madison Square Garden grooved to Kanye's new project. Sheck West skipped his playoff basketball game to be in attendance. Little Yachty and Young Thug were also present, among many others. The album featured over 100 credited people as the music swelled from elements of all of Kanye's previous work and combined the work of producers just bursting through the scene, underground gurus, and music legends across a variety of genres. Kanye got help from new talent and veterans to create something that had elements from all of his projects. There was not one singular aesthetic, but just good music across the board. The first song, Ultra Light Beam, was heavily influenced on the experimental rap and gospel fusion that Chance the Rapper was taking a stab at on his new work. He invited me back out to work on Life of Pablo. When I came to Life of Pablo, it was a very dark album. There were a lot of things that were getting removed from it that felt like light pieces to me. I was already working on Coloring Book. I had already known what I was on. I was listening to a lot of gospel. I was listening to a lot of the, just the shit that built me into making Coloring Book. I brought that into the space when he was making Pablo, and that's how Ultralight Beam came to be. And any song that I have writing yeah, credits on of the five songs, ass. you could feel that. No. A Kirk Franklin and Kanye track was coming together. Well, yes, he called me because he really wanted to help the production level of gospel music. He, he really felt that there's a lot of talent in gospel music that just needs a certain boost in the production, I mean, you know, beats and right. sounds and sonics. And when it was time for Pablo, he was working on a song, and the song originally was my song. It was one of my old songs, and I thought that maybe this would be a, a good, good moment to maybe try to go a little bit further. But it always started with a conversation. So his first idea was to want to help gospel music. When you look at R&B, black music, was birthed out of the black church, you know? That's why Elvis was stopped by. That's that's why the Rolling Stones went in the back of the church when Aretha did her album. That's why that's why every major pop artist, even to this day, if you look at their band, the whole band is church guys. Kelly Price provided infectious vocals. The very first phone call, just it, it all came together in such an incredible way. Um, some things you know are supposed to happen. That's one of those things that you know are just supposed to happen. And um, I think it's going to be, it's going to end up being one of the monumental moments of my career. It, how did the phone call happen or how did it all go down? It was Fonsworth. It was Fonsworth Bentley. Um, I've known him for many years. Obviously, Ye has known him for many, many years, but we didn't know each other. Um, so that's how the relationship was facilitated. The call was made that way. Most important thing that came from that conversation, he said, I just need you to do what you do. I need the anointing on this song and you're the person for it. And that the purpose of the song really was to be something inspirational and uplifting and hope-filled. When me and my dad went to go visit uh, Kurt at his house like four Christmas ago, that was the beginning of a relationship. You, know, you just can't call Kurt Franklin out of the blue and he's like, okay, cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I mean, we were just blessed to be in the room at the right time when the ultralight beam flew, th fl uh, it just came through us. I can't, th I can't explain that song in, 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 in notes. 
I can't explain it in rhythm. I can't explain it in drum beats. I can I can only explain that feeling. I mean, I'm saying uh, there's a young lady in the studio that pulled up the Instagram with the uh, with the little girl on it, saying that we don't want no devils in the house. Like literally, this is all coming together a week and a half before the album. The first voice on the album was taken from a viral Twitter video of a four-year-old praying with the intensity of any pastor condemning demons. Father Stretch My Hands gave further light to the producer in control of the entire trap sound at the time. Metro Boomin's beat tag set the meme world on fire, and Kid Cudi sang the hook for the highest charting song on the project. Even if you don't have a drop, I just feel like you should bring yourself somehow. Pastor T.L. Barrett's Father I Stretch My Hands kept the Return to God theme apparent. Part two of the song gave more time for the new generation to shine as designer showed up. Kanye just signed the Brooklyn artist after Plain Pat brought him to him. Pat, who I was telling you about before, Amazing a and came and played me that record and the energy was incredible. Designer was flown out to Los Angeles to meet Kanye for the first time, where he had a reworked version of Panda right there at the airport. Kanye used Designer's Pandaverse to launch the newly signed artist into stardom. I, I met him at the airport actually, and the way he was just dancing to the music, it just, I was like, this man, it's just pure feeling, energy, artistry, melody. Famous was one of the most controversial songs on the life of Pablo. I mean, like, I spent like 70 some hours straight in the studio with Ye, worked on like, 30 different tracks and you know like we just like just just go just going like you know what i'm saying and just boom adding all a bunch of the only thing is like he don't really edit a lot of things i'm thinking like okay like we'll take some of the ad libs like, he's like nah just like, i need it like this I'm... they wanted me to come to uh kanye's studio you know what i'm saying and just camp out there for a little while they say you know give us what you got just, just bring your computer we want everything you know what i mean so i i chilled with them for a couple of months and we did mad tracks, you know what I'm saying, together. But those are the two that just ended up being on the uh, project. But you never know, you know, he just holds so much stuff in the stash, you never know where you can hear another Havoc and Kanye track at again, hopefully. But the life of Pablo, they kept, they kept everything to the best. You never know with Ye, because a song could sound like this today and just be totally different the next day. It was so funny, because I, hated this beat when I first got it from Ye. Oh, and then I was like, and then, and we flipped it. And then when we got, heard the final version, I was like, yeah, he was right. This is way hotter than what we were doing. Controversy. To all my South Side niggas that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Taylor accepted an award and dissed Kanye on stage saying, don't let anyone take credit for your success. I want to say to all the young women out there, there are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. In a strange turn of events, Kim Kardashian had the footage of Kanye asking Taylor about his lyrics. Yes, I told her that we was going to say that. <laughs> right. I didn't tell her. I, right. I asked her how she felt about it. Right. He told you. I called Taylor. I played her. I told her. Look, I said, Taylor, I talked to my wife about it. And I said, how you feel about this line, Taylor? I feel like me and you might still have sex. She said, ooh, Kanye, I like that line. It could be debated that the most brazen and bold piece of art that Kanye had ever conceived was witnessed in his official music video for Famous. Naked images of Taylor Swift, Rihanna, Donald Trump, and more were displayed. Synthetic versions of Kim and Kanye slept in the center of the bed. The George W. Bush, Anna Wintour, Donald Trump, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Taylor Swift, Kim Kardashian, Ray J, Amber Rose, Caitlyn Jenner, and Bill Cosby, shown in the video, are actually made of wax. Kanye said that the film was a representation of celebrity life. Due to age restrictions, I can't show you this painting without censoring most of the piece. Tonight, Wes saying the video is inspired by this painting by Vincent Desiderio. In telling Vanity Fair, it's a comment on fame. What unifies all of these people is the fact that their fame leaves them naked to the world and they are all in the same bed, proverbially. And like two weeks ago, the fact that I was able to create an art piece and people not know how it was done, why it was done, how it was thought of, how it got executed, and to be able to say and put whoever and exactly who I wanted, like the, the President of the United States, <laughs> Anna Winter, Bill Cosby, Hitler, 
Amber, you know, like, uh, and of course, you know, uh, Taylor Swift, like, <laughs> to be able to do that, and then to also be able to be a successful business person at the same time, it's like, I don't feel crazy anymore. This is just hip hop. This is what we do, man. Just say how you feel, man. The music is all, music is all we got. Then she won her award and said something completely different. She not cool no more. She had two seconds to be cool. And she fucked it up. To be continued. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. I wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives, where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare is an online community that offers membership with meaning. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life, so you can move forward with your creative journey without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that'll fit your busy routines. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. Some of Skillshare's exciting classes include Learn How to Mix by Young Guru, Audio Mixing on the Go, Professional Sound Without the Studio by King Arthur DJ, and Learn How to Master Songs Like a Pro All From Home, also with Young Guru. The Young Guru classes appeal to me because I'm always trying to learn how to create music, and the fact that he worked with Jay-Z obviously makes his teaching all the more valuable. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity.